guys, this is Chris Appleton of Absolver, and you're listening to Angel Garrett on PRFM. Oh, see, some good really classic bands. Really looking forward to meeting, meeting those guys. Oh, excellent. Now, all I said is I spoke to you last year just before you did HRH Prog Fest, um, and I caught you on stage up at Prog Fest last year. I've got to say, amazing to see you guys live. Thank you. Uh, the good news is, though, you're there again now in March for Prog 3. We are. It's, it's, it's remarkable, actually. We're the only band, I think, to have been invited back three years in a row. Three years in a row. <laughs> so basically... I don't, I don't know if we'll get lucky if fourth year. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you've done all three years there? We've done all three years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's, hope, let's hope they're uh, nice enough to pick you up and for the next year. Yeah, well, I, I hope so. I mean, it's a lovely one to play. It is. A great um, lineup last year. It really was. It really was. Very, very strong indeed. I mean, they've had they've had some really good acts play, oh. like um, like Arthur Brown um, performed the first year. He's a um, real idol of mine. Oh, I, I bet that was fun. Mm. <laughs> Arthur <laughs> Brown live on stage. Wow, I bet. Yeah, and it, of course, he's still touring. Everything. Yeah, and he's still t- <laughs> and he's still touring as well. Uh, but they, they combined it last year because you had the AOR and you had the Blues Festival and of course the Prog Fest all in one weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, is you guys were on the Prog Fest and I got, I, I come I had to come up there and watch you guys playing live. I thought I definitely go go watch you guys playing live, and I thoroughly enjoyed the set. Thank you. So I'm looking forward to this year's as well in March to catch you guys there as well. So I shall be there again. Now, what's been happening all together with you guys since last year? Well, it's it's interesting because I, I feel that the that last year's performance at H- HRH Prague um, really sparked a lot of change for us. Um, and if it, if it hadn't been for that performance, which really, really... Um, it caught it caught a, a lot of interest, um, which we'd been trying to gather for years. Um, and last year we ended up well. Robert won the Visionary Award at oh. the Progressive Awards, yeah. which was a huge deal. Um, really lovely to see him um, being recognised for his years and years of innovative work. Um. You know, because he's done so much. Um, so much stuff that had never been done before at the time. Um, and it's really nice to see him being credited for that now. Oh, that's excellent to see that. And like I said, is you got the album out there as well. Yep. As in- um, we we also decided, um, following following the success of last year's shows, because we had a lot of um, sellout seated performances, which at the time we thought were going to be a bit of a risk. We weren't sure. Um, if we were going to be able to uh, sell them out, but but then when we did, um, we thought, right, okay, well, people maybe are that interested now. Um, let's do something far more ambitious in 2015. And so we are now um, doing a far more complicated stage show, which involves um, an LED screen behind us, which oh. uh, is a video screen and. Um, all of all of our music is synced up with um, videos that create a context that send out a very a very important message, um, and it's it's all very very different to anything we've done before. Um, and the rev- the reviews from that, because we did the first one on Saturday, the reviews from it have been absolutely fantastic. We just um, had no idea how people would respond to it because it's so different to what we've done before. Um, but people are saying that it's uh, really something special. So I'm hoping that anyone that is interested in something that is, again, true to either fashion, a little bit out of the box, um, give it a try. Come to one of our shows, The Bridge Show, because there's only six more performances of that left. Oh, see, so not only do they get great music, they also get a f- film to watch. We, yeah, they, they it's delivered um, in context with itself really so it's a story so the, so the songs that have been chosen um 
have been chosen to create a very, very specific storyline, um, which, I mean, it's the whole thing is a metaphor for stuff that's going on in the world. Um, so if you're if you're someone that's very kind of politically minded, very interested in world news, this this is for you, really. Right. Also, the last time I spoke to you guys, you were moving to Germany. Yeah, and we did. And we and we been working about, hard. You can keep. It. <laughs> we spend about half our time there if we can. Because I'm going to say, people um, keep an eye on what you're doing on Facebook because they're showing it's showing you doing some work in the new in the property you got out there as well. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it, how, how's that all going over there now? Well, it's it's a cool space. It's um, in East Germany, and it's an old school. So it's it's a bit of a blank canvas because. You've got all these big, empty old classrooms, um, which which are ideal because if you want to be able to build yourself a recording studio or um, a rehearsal room or even a film set, uh, there's not there's nothing particularly limiting there, and it means that we we have um, a huge amount of flexibility when it comes to doing creative work, and also we're in the middle of nowhere which means we're not disturbing anybody while we do it. <laughs> so, so, so that's great fun <laughs> So it, it's quite perfect, because, I mean, in Northampton, which is where Enid HQ is um, in the UK, we, um, we, we live above a nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, there's a big and difference. So it's two very, very different worlds for us, because when we're here, um, you know, we, we're surrounded by distraction all the time. Um, I mean, I, I go to sleep listening to people doing karaoke downstairs, you know, it's, uh, oh. <laughs> that's my life. But in Germany, um, you know, it's it's very quiet, we're very um, isolated, um, and we just, it's perfect for getting on with creative work. And setting out this new stage set you got as well. Yeah, so the, that's... Um, crea- we created most of the show that we're doing now while we were out there because it, we had to create a lot of video for it, um, do a lot of filming, um, get get used to a lot of new software. Uh, yeah, it, it got quite complicated, but luckily I've got um, a whole bunch of technically minded people in the Enid, um, <laughs> and so so it, it was my concept with lots of their hard work to uh, to pull it off. Oh, excellent, excellent! Now, are you going to be bringing your dates down into South Wales? Unfortunately, um, I couldn't find the perfect venue for for it um well at least uh the perfect venues wouldn't get back to me <laughs> <laughs> so you found no, a venue however however we are doing this weekend um on friday we're performing in tavistock in devon oh nice with the show at the tavistock wharf um so if any anybody um in the southwest um please come to that um or if if it's better access for you which i'm sure it is in south wales please come to our show in gloucester at the guild hall on the 21st of february so you know that's a closer one for everyone 21st of february gloucester if not they can catch you in western supermare uh next what is it next weekend no yeah, two so, weeks time two weeks time yeah, here, so saturday it? the 7th of saturday the 7th of february we'll be at giants um, of rock minehead butlins yeah, performing um, as part of the Giants of Rock Festival, but of course that's that's going to be a very different kind of show for us. It is, and then you've um, also the, yeah, the got theatrical it. show isn't isn't appropriate for oh, the festivals, unfortunately. Sh- oh, it's a shame. <laughs> uh, but then if they can't catch you there, they definitely got come and catch you up at HRH Prog Fest three in March. Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. looking. I am looking forward to catching you guys there again, and hopefully catching up with you and having a chat there as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Please, please do come find me. I will definitely, I'll <laughs> definitely do that, Joe. Take you off to the side there, and we'll have a drink or something. That's wonderful. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we, we can just have a. Quick I'll, chat. I'll be ready for one after the show as well. I bet you will, because I know it's a very hot uh, environment up there when you're underneath them lights as well. And oh, I know. And performing, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be dehydrated. I'll be asking you to, um, to you know. Rehydrate me there. Yeah, we we'll get you some. We we'll get you some water then. <laughs> pour, pour beer down me. That's the idea. Get a beer down you. Well, Joe, it's been a pleasure chatting to you. I'm looking forward to catching you. Of course, like I said at HIH, but you've got Gloucester coming up on the 21st. You've got Br- um, Western Supermare on the 7th. 
the Giants of Rocks down there, and of course, like I said, you've also got down in Devon as well. Yes, Devon on Friday, Southampton on Saturday, um, Minehead Butlins on the 7th of February, and of course... Uh, the Guildhall in Gloucester on the 21st of February. That's going to be great. Well, I'm going to play a track here from the latest album of yours. It's The Whispering. Would you like to introduce this one, Joe? Oh, yes, please. Okay, this is this is the closing track on our 2012 album, Invicta. It's called The Whispering, and I hope it sends you nicely to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. playing HRH Progfest. Hi guys, this is Chris Appleton of Absolver and you're listening to Angel Gareth of the RFM. <laughs> 